¡Vamos! Ah, sí. Yo roque. Come on. Go. Esperanza School for the Lost. Full circle, eh, Clara? More bad memories than good. Upstairs. Gracias. What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tú sabes. I'm done, Talia. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us, we don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. Wanna tell me why you drive me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're kidding, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. 
And then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. You here to pick up Paolo Slack? We got a lot to do here. I, work out there, I have never seen a cat like that. <sighs> See you there, Catito.
¿Qué tal, guerrilla? Let's make me some money. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded. So you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me. And Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Everyone wins. When the boat leaves, the boat leaves. Grabbing a right. Paolo, you spoke to our mutual friend, Embe. What is that snake up? Say. He says I do this one last dirty job for him. You walk with me. I'm not proud, but I do it again to get Talia and I know the risk you are taking for me. I won't forget this. Thank me if I get through this in one piece. Got to be Rafael. Bembe, why is it everywhere you send me, I find trouble? Speculation is a waste of time. And time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. Can't hide from me. That's not good. Gracias. Vamos, oye. Calm yourself. It's okay. Please. Over here. Gracias. 
Did Bembe send you? See, si. Are you Rafael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's customers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. Bembe, I got your clients and your papers from Rafael. Okay, Ross. Now, make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. Si. Okay. Everyone good back there? Si, si. Vámonos. Yeah, I mean the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I... Got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. My money. Papers. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for these. How do you think El Presidente found the Marillos in face? Okay, go through. Then they better be here. Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, moment, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño? They're not going? Business expense. The fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. Hello. Good news. Bembe's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. Paolo's busy again, Hello. isn't he? He sent you to help me? Just one fucking show, Paolo! We focus on the demo. Javier's cost enough free speech can get us an American deal. Ooh, an American record deal. A grand fucking salvation! What's going on? 
We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the loco everywhere. No, I painted them and stole the fucking zebra and killed for that local priest. No bullshit. You're doing the show. What priest? One song. Then we're out. Ah, oh, me more. I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs> Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. What is it, bicho? We're gonna need to clear Marquesa's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. Okay, I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Here, girl. That is one hell of a cat. Hola, horse. Let's go. Easy now. Easy. Vamos, vamos. That looks bad. Those guerrillas could use some more firepower.
Appreciate this. Bicho, I'm at Maria's villa. Are you here? Yeah, yeah, soon way. But, uh, are there soldados? Of course. It's Marquesa's fucking house. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm gonna be a little late. Relate. There won't be a single soldier when you get here, pero.
Bicho, safe to come out now. Orale, Danny. Meet me up front by my truck. And, uh... <clears throat> you need help. Uh, see, with gear, that shit's heavy. <laughs> Let's launch this shit! Fast! Okay, Maria's got the best gear set up here already. We just need to turn that shit on. Wait, you think Talia will turn on the antenna, lights, speakers? No way, man! Okay, okay. I'll help. Shit, yeah! I got a roadie! And Radio Libertas happening. I'll be here, monitoring your progress. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, antenna is live. I'm gonna get a roadie now. Damn. Marquesa's got a serious light board. Bicho! Gear's good to go! So lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? <gasps> like shit. <laughs> this always happens. This always happens before a show. Right. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los yaranos, tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya, y pero es un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me tralla. Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa, este día. Llegan respuestas definitivas, progresivas. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso, seguimos tomando... ¡Con Castillo! ¡Con Marqueso! ¡Con Paraíso! ¡Rejo de a la muerte! ¡We don't stop! ¿You hear me? Danny, protect the gear! Soldados will try to kill our broadcast! If the equipment goes down, Radio Libertad goes down! Won't let that happen. Enemies in the air. Come on! 
I think I lost them. Yeah. Like that, Maximus Matanzas is gonna give it to 
Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, miente la falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here! It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me! A real man doesn't run! Suerte! They'll be fine! They'll be fine. Don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? Que clase de tontería es esta, Maria? Yes, it is the Americano. Let's talk Viviro, a cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father, but Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who looked like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. In... Children sew our clothes. Sweatshops build our phones. And Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my vibiro to America, my methods, your questions. No one will care. We're done here. For your father. Killer. <laughs> Clara. I saw the broadcast. It went dark. What happened? Are you okay? We are alive. Bien. Everyone's talking about Maximas Matanzas, which means they're talking about Libertad. No one can ignore you now, even if they wanted to. I just want Yara to hear the truth. So what's your next move? Talk to Talia, see if I can smooth out some creative differences. Wish me luck. Sweet Panther, Garilla. 